Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to enable classic pipeline option in Azure DevOps. Let's say that you are learning Azure DevOps. You wanted to create pipeline using Azure DevOps. You go to Azure DevOps, uh, you pick up a project, you go to pipelines, and then you wanted to create a pipeline. But when you do there, you don't see that option of classic option, right? So we all know about Azure DevOps, you can create pipeline using classic option or you can create a pipeline using AML option. So we are actually seeing only the AML option. We are not seeing the classic pipeline option. So how would you enable that? That's exactly what we are going to learn in this short video. So how do you enable that? Let's actually go to Azure DevOps. You need to go to organization settings you can actually enable or disable in two different ways, okay? You can do it at the organization level or you can do it at the project level. So this is the higher level, right? When you enable or disable this option, uh, you know, you will not be able to, you know, do that, okay? You will not be able to do it at the project level. When you disable this option, then you can enable or disable at the project level. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So right now, uh, if I go into Azure DevOps dashboard, click on organization. So organization settings, and then go to pipelines and then settings. If you actually see here, you can clearly see here that disable creation of classic build pipeline and then disable creation of classic release pipeline. Whenever this option is on, you will not be able to create classic pipeline. So you have to disable this option. So mark this off, right? So as soon as this is done at the organization level, now let's go back. Let's go to any project here, pipelines, new pipeline. There you go. You see this option, right? So this is one level of doing it. But let's say, uh, you know, Sometimes you can also disable at the individual project level as well, right? So let me go back to the same, uh, you know, uh, project. Right now I'm actually in the project, project settings, and then go to pipelines and then settings. You see here now, if you wanted to control at the individual project level, you can also do that this way. So right now, if you see here, even though that is, uh, you know, a disabled at organization level, you know, you can also control at the individual project level as well. So now if I go back, I will not see that option. You see here, so this is affected only in this my awesome August project. But if I go to other project, other project will still see the pipeline option because you see here, right? So let me go back to uh, this project. because we have disabled at this particular project level. I wanted to enable, so go to project settings, pipeline settings, and then we are going to disable. So this is for the build pipeline and this is for the release pipeline. So I wanted to create both classic build pipeline as well as classic release pipeline. So I wanted to disable this option so that I can have that option enabled at this project level. So if I go to pipelines, if I create a new pipeline, I would see this option, right? So yeah, so absolutely guys. Yeah. So you can enable or disable at two different levels. You can do it at the organization level or you can do it at the individual project level. So yeah, so this is how guys, you know, you can enable the classic editor option if it is disabled or this is how you can also enable or disable uh, if you wanted to have control over your classic pipeline in Azure DevOps. Thank you for watching this video.